What's up, YouTube? It's a cold one. It's about, oh, it's exactly two o'clock. I got a new one for you guys. The furry one. And another one. I, uh, I got this thing. Old school Pioneer head unit. I've always liked these. And uh, I want to have like a 90s system in one of my weekend toy cars that I have. So I'm slowly building one. But I've had this thing for a while. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. But uh, it came with the box. And it came uh, owner's manual. And it also came with this huge remote. Where did it go? Here it is. Thing's huge. And it also came with a holder that no one used. So someone really took care of this thing. That's a holder. Looks like some tape. And uh, one of the problems with these older head units, and I think why people shy away from them, is there being no Bluetooth. But the uh, cool thing is, is you can buy a Bluetooth adapter and you can, uh, yeah, stream to it. It just plugs into where the CD player changer plug is, right to the back of it. Let me show you. Right there. Just plugs right in. Power and ground. That's the unit. And uh, you can stream to the radio, so. Good idea. It was only 25 bucks. So, it's a win. But, uh, but yeah, I'm happy that I have this thing. And uh, hopefully it goes in my car as soon as the weather starts to get warmer. But it's super cold right now, so I'm not doing that right now. But here's the unit. Or I should say the faceplate. Big old fingerprint right there. It's clean. That part doesn't look clean right now, but if I look at it without my phone, it looks really clean. But yeah, she's she's nice and clean. And that pops out. Sinks back in. I've always liked the display on these. They display a lot of, a lot of cool stuff on that screen. But it's a short video. And uh, I'll be putting out more of these at least at least once a week. I'll be trying to put one up. So look out for them. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.